Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the program. So recently, uh, we were able to pass the ACID 3 test in the Serenity OS browser. And this is a milestone that we are incredibly proud of. And I actually tweeted about it and got some publicity from around the world. People were quite positive and excited. Uh, and that was a lot of fun. But uh, I also got some rather interesting messages from people asking um, particular question. Uh, they were asking, why build a new browser? Why not just use Firefox? Or why not just use Chrome? And this is a question I've been getting over and over over the last couple of years. Um, it comes in a few different shapes, but usually it's why not just use Linux? Um, why even make a new kernel? Or why not just use Firefox? Why not just use Chrome? Why not just use WebKit? Uh, and even for the desktop, people ask, why make a new desktop? Why not just use uh, Chicago 95? And um, I have to admit, I've been kind of dismissive of people asking these questions in the past. Um, I guess I felt like what we were doing were was something a little special and not quite exactly the same thing. It's just um, making a skin for XFCE or, you know, making a theme for an existing browser or something like that. But um, but it's, it's not good to always be dismissive, right? So I decided that I want to be intellectually honest and at least give these things a try. So uh, that's what I've been doing uh, lately. And uh, let me actually show you. So um, here is Serenity that we know and love. But if we look closer, um, you'll see that this isn't actually Serenity, but rather Linux, uh, if you can believe it. And I have to say, this is giving me really, really strange feelings. And I think I've managed to hurt myself and my pride here a little bit because the more I mess around with this and I find all kinds of hardware support uh, and all kinds of functionality and it has so many ports and everything is just kind of just works out of the box here. Um, it, it is kind of interesting and this doesn't make it any less Serenity, right? Because look, we have our classic Serenity uh, wallpaper. We have uh, the Serenity logo on the Serenity menu down here. We have our app icons and stuff like that. So it it really is Serenity. It just, um, just has sort of a, a different core. And um, and let, let me just show you some other stuff that's really cool. So like if I open the Serenity OS browser, for example, uh, I mean, just ignore this stuff right here. But if we make the Serenity OS browser um, based on Firefox, as, as people were suggesting, then look at this. We can just go to YouTube and we can watch like videos and stuff. And it actually just works right away. Uh, and the thing that really blew my mind was when I opened the acid three test, because we spent weeks getting this thing to work and look at this, it, it just works out of the box. It's, I, I can't tell you how much time I put into making this thing work. And it turns out that, you know, it, we could have had it working a long time ago if we had just, um, made a few small adjustments to our development process. And um, I think it's, it's honestly, it's time to admit that this is just, it's just a lot more efficient to build the system um, using these components that uh, are available to us. Because honestly, I mean, this is really what Serenity is, right? I mean, it is really like the icons and sort of the general visual style of um, Windows 95. And, and is there, it, it, it kind of, it's difficult for me to admit this, but 
I'm not sure that we've been really doing anything of value. Um, and uh, it's, I think maybe it's time that we make some adjustments to our development process. So uh, over the, the next couple of days, I will be getting in touch with people uh, and, and talking about what comes next. Uh, and then we'll take, take it from there.